Alright, hi, I'm Michael Messler, and I'm here at QPark studying pollination of coffee with my, my student Jenny Lynn Hutchinson. And we're trying to understand um, whether the bees here are contributing to production of coffee beans and the economy of the farm. And so we're doing some experiments, including bagging some of the branches to keep the honeybees out. And we're going to compare that to branches that don't have the bags. And we make that comparison, we'll be able to understand if honeybees really are contributing. Now, this is the bag here? This is a um, you know, pollinator exclusion bag. We leave it on temporarily. And as soon as the flowers are finished, we take it off. But during that period, the honeybees can't, um, don't have access to the flowers. Now, you mentioned that the coffee doesn't need the honeybee. It does not absolutely need honeybees because it, it is self-fertile and it can self-pollinate. But there's evidence from other places, including near Kingston, that if you have bees, and they can have access to the flowers, and that can improve uh, yields because pollen tends to come from different plants, cross-pollination. Improve by how much? Uh, perhaps 50%, right, which could be um, important economically. Interesting. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome.